Hey everyone, it's Riley's Productions here. <clears throat> We're doing a preview of our cooling systems that we use in our builds. Uh, we just picked up a Be Cool A0176 radiator module kit, for, which is for a 70 through 74 Mopar E body. Uh, this kit will be for our 73 Challenger build. We're not going to unbox it right now because it's way too early in the Challenger's uh, build stage to install a radiator. Um, but we will show you what's inside because we run the exact same setup uh, in our CUDA. We actually have a spare radiator for the CUDA. Um, the part number itself is 60176. And the kit comes with dual spall fans. Uh, here's a part number. Um, they're made in Italy. They're really good fans. And um, here's the radiator itself. So, uh, it comes with um, dual spall fans that are, are roughly 13 inches in diameter. Um, these fans uh, run a lot of CFM uh, and, then, and they work really great. Um, the fans that are currently installed in Akuta have been uh, running since 2005 when we initially bought a a module for our 340 that we had a while back um, so the fans those fans have been running for 13 years um, we picked up these fans just to have as a backup because uh, even though they're reliable uh, nothing lasts forever so we just picked them up just as spares um, this specific radiator was the initial um, radiator for the CUDA when we swapped over from a 340 to a 426 uh, Gen 3 Hemi, but it developed a leak, um, so we had to send it back to Be Cool, and they uh, helped us out. Uh, the customer service is, is really great. They fixed the leak uh, that was in the top corner. They welded it, they pressure tested it, and they sent it back to us. So um, we bought another radiator, a new one, and installed that in the CUDA, which is running right now, and we keep this as a spare. So, so um, this is the uh, what comes inside. What you don't see are the relays and wiring harnesses for the fans. Um, there's fan brackets that attach the fans uh, on all four corners of the fan to the radiator. Um, that's why you see these indentations. Um, those are from the rubber spacers that, uh, that support the fan uh, when it's vertical inside the car. Um, the kit does not come with a fan shroud, which I don't like, but, um, this fan setup has, has, uh, worked flawlessly for us. Um, we've been running like this in the CUDA at the track for years and never had overheat issues. Um, so we, we really like it. Um, no problems whatsoever. The radiator itself is marketed at 33 uh, inches across, uh, cross flow, and, um, it's roughly 32 and a half inches across, uh, as well, almost 33, but, uh, it's a big radiator, um, and it's rated to a thousand horsepower, and it suits our, uh, 600, Horse Gen 3 uh, 426 uh, Hemi just fine. Um, what else you get in the kit is a Be Cool radiator cap. They sent us a round cap with um, this specific radiator, but if you pick up a kit, uh, it might be an octagon cap. Uh, it works great, but they sent us a round one. Also, what you don't see are, like I said, the brackets, uh, the really harnesses, and uh, a cylindrical uh, aluminum uh, catch can. It's just a brushed aluminum can just to catch the excess coolant. Um, but this is the basics of what comes inside the kit. Um, when we install the, the new module into this Challenger, uh, we're gonna do a, a couple of things different. Um, for one, um, uh, we're gonna install uh, AN-AN20, uh, bungs here we're gonna weld them on um, just because 
Um, for the CUDA, we use um, these Gates hoses, and they work great. Um, but uh, we had some sealing issues um, when we first started up, so uh, we had to double clamp them with uh, hose clamps, uh, two, two per uh, connection. And like I said, they seal great, but we're just going to uh, weld a a AN20 bungs onto the radiator and um, use XRP uh, race crimp uh, hose, hose fittings, so there should be no leaks. Um, on on the on our next build, um, what also we do it, we're gonna do is um, this is a spare uh, water pump for the Cuda, but uh, like I said, we're gonna weld an AN twenty bung right here so it matches up to um, to the uh, radiator. Um, we're also gonna uh, weld up an AN bung to our water neck. Um, this is a steel OEM piece. Uh, we're actually um, going to run a aluminum water deck from Billet Technologies. Um, but that's with Prefix right now because they're currently building the 426 uh, all aluminum Hemi uh, for the 73 Challenger. Um, but when we get that uh, water deck, we're going to weld in uh, a Dash 20 AN fitting here. So uh, there, there should be no leaks with that setup. Um, the last, oh, the other thing that we do for our, our radiators is we uh, we install a zinc anode um, in replace of the petcock. Uh, that way, uh, it minimizes the electrolysis and the corrosion um, that can happen uh, when you run an aluminum radiator. Um, sometimes it develops leaks, develops leaks, but with a, a zinc anode, um, it it's a sac it's a sacrificial a anode, so it, the electrolysis eats up the the anode instead of the aluminum on the radiator. Um, the last thing that we do uh, for our cooling system is we also run um, Honda uh, Type Two coolant. Um, the reason being is um, we own a, a Honda S two thousand, and um, we use the same coolant for it. Um, Honda's been building aluminum engines for well over f for how many years? I don't know, 30 years, over 30 years, and they've never had any issues with this coolant um, since our engine in the Cuda and the engine going into the 73 Challenger build it is going to be an all aluminum all aluminum 426 Gen 3 Hemi. Um, we just run the Honda. Uh, type 2 because it works great for aluminum uh, engines um, We've run this at the track uh, no issues whatsoever um, And it works great. So um, that's what that's what works for us But yeah, so this is um, the gist of what you get um, when you buy a be cool kit um, and the reason we we use be cool is um, Their customer service is really great. Um, they always help us out when we ever have issues um, we are a dealer for them, um, and we try to get the best pricing, but for this specific kit that we had to get this from JEGS, they're currently running a sale right now, um, uh, which is, should last till the end of the year, uh, when I talked to the JEGS representative and we saved right around $200. So if you are, you guys are in the market for a, a Beco radiator kit or any of their products, um, now's the time to buy it because JEGS um, such ha has such a huge buying power that even as a dealer, we can't match their pricing. But um, that's pretty much it for us. Um, it's a really good radiator that we, that we always recommend. Um, but yeah, so when, we, and when it gets time to install the, uh, the kit onto the Challenger, we'll unbox it and show you guys what's exactly inside. But until then, um, this is Riley's Productions. See you guys at the track. Later.